Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the SOS Science of Soul podcast. This week we have a special guest on. It's our good brother, Muhammad Mikhail Bablu Mia. Um, very interesting dude, very well read and uh, always controversial. Um, so, just warning you guys, there's a little bit of explicit terminology in this episode, but otherwise, it's all good. Enjoy it. We're talking about uh, organic food and animal welfare. Look how close me and you are sitting. You enjoy it though. It's so close, it's incredible. Is this the first time you've sat this close to Babylon? I've never been this close to him. I don't think I've I've been very close to you. <laughs> so what's the very difference? close to you? Yeah, why do why don't you like Babylon being close to you? I don't know, bro. <laughs> what's wrong with me? Uh, fish boy, isn't it, bro? Not pretty enough for you? That's rude. He just called you fish boy. <laughs> How did you respond to that? He just called you fish boy, bro. Well, uh, I, I, He's I, a fish I, boy, I, accept, I accept it. I grew up oh, with that. Sorry. You grew up with Con being called a fish boy. As what? Like a racist slur? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've accepted that, it. That is true. So it's, it's, like, you know how someone calls you a packy or someone calls you fish boy? It just doesn't work on me anymore. And mum jokes don't work on me either. What, really? What jokes? Yeah, mum jokes. Mom oh, jokes. your mum. Oh, mum jokes don't work on me either. In school, like when somebody say, your mum's this. Um, in my head, like, am I supposed to react to this? And the people around me, oh, he said I something about your mum. I never used to react. I only reacted because people said, oh, he said something about your mum. You need to do something. I'm like, do I? Okay, then. <laughs> but it's, it's just one of those things. Uh, words don't always work on me. Uh, lying does, but not yeah. just general insults don't always work on me. So you've got a thick skin, basically. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a bit sensitive. I am sensitive. <laughs> Shall we? Can we talk about what happened the other day? <laughs> oh. Oh, I Look, was we'll keep it really, we'll keep it very anonymous. Yeah. Yeah. Go for but it. But I went to dinner with Afton the other day <laughs> with some other friends. <laughs> and you know how people have banter? Mm. Yeah. Like, bruv, look at you, look at Chubby and stuff like that. Yeah. So obviously. Is this, this my hat, bruv? This, no, this, Don't be this dissing guy, my hat. This guy said to him, oh, nice hat, bro. <laughs> and I swear to God, five minutes later, I was going to fight bruv. Bruv, do you want to come outside? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> I mean, you become there was civilized. Water. There was he water. actually he walked outside once. Yeah, then I no, no, no. I held the other guy back. Yeah, you know, the other guy because the other guy was gonna go as well. Yeah. so I held him back. Then I didn't came back in. <laughs> sat down. They re- and I went they, halfway again. They resumed <laughs> their 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 forwards and backwards, you know, arguments. So, so how did he end up in that situation? How does someone go from you? <laughs> <My sad bro. laughs> It's the hat, innit? You don't, you don't diss nobody's hat, bruv, innit? Uh, well, there was more to it than that, but yeah. You don't want to go I into that, it? I mean, uh, this is more funnier. This is funnier than what, you know. Yeah, but, but I want to know what, 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 how you took to those levels. I can't even remember. Hat. I was raging, bruv. No, no, I think, I I think was... you'd had a long day at work. I yeah. had a long, long day at you work. Weren't in the mo- you weren't in the mood for... Um, uh, What's it called? You were not in the mood I wasn't, for... I wasn't, I wasn't in the mood for, you know, childish uh, secondary school kind of dis, dissing matches. Yeah, but you, you reacted to it, so you became what you did I know, want exactly. To. Well, stop judging me, bro. Bloody <laughs> hell, bro. Stop saying, bro. You know? What is the point of me expressing my feelings when you But you have principles, me? you're not following yourself. Oh, okay. Do you how, want to come out how, now, bro? How did you get um, a thick skin? Because that's something, I'm more like Abdin, where, you know, if someone was saying something mm. to me, I would get worked up. Oh, no. The thing is, I've been exposed to it for a longer time. So okay. growing up with uh, white people, growing out with packies, and I used to be out a lot. Mm-hmm. Going to Little Heath, yeah. you got a lot of racism as well from there. Sure. But you kind of accept it. Like, I accepted it. I'm, I'm, it didn't bother me because, uh, first of all, I'm not packy. Secondly, I'm not even fish. So how are you offending? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, literally. Okay. So by being exposed to it, you got inoculated to it? Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's not offensive. If you're protected and you hear certain things, oh, no. But I'm like, it doesn't bother me. Mm. Unless you're going to physically do something to me or harm me or my family. That's completely different. But if you're going to call me a packy, yeah, so move on. Okay, fair enough. What about if someone called you stinky? It, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, <I> just, <laughs> now, you know, what, you know what the most upsetting thing? And this is, this is a fact and you can't deny it. Okay, so, okay I, I disagree. Okay, okay, I was incorrect. Words do affect me. But only certain words. Yeah, I love and, the way he's and, changed everything now. <laughs> everything's going to come out now. <laughs> now. Now, and he would, who shall I use this word first? What Go word? On. Who, who, who wants to get offended first? Go do it on me. You're ugly. That would hurt my feelings. It would. It's such yeah. a powerful Call word. me ugly. Yeah. You're a bit ugly, bro. Oh, I don't care. He, Shut he, up, he, he <laughs> got, he <laughs> do you know why he's not feeling it? Because he got called beautiful today. 
Was it today? No. It was the other day. During the week. During the week, yeah. During the you week. You know when I started asking about anonymous. this about this mysterious lady who called him beautiful, I said, oh, what does she look like? What's her age and stuff? He got, he got very vague with the details. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how old is she? He's like, I don't know. Yeah, it was a <laughs> ballpark. How old is she? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> I got, I got a bit scared for a moment. There, he's like, oh, how much should I know the about this woman? Though, the thing is, though, the thing is, though, was this pr- person attractive? That's why I, I asked. say that. But that makes a big difference. If there's ever an attractive I did person, ask you that. says to another person that you're attractive, that's like, whoa, okay, that's a big compliment there. Mm. Yeah, because if someone who you're not attracted to says it, you're like, oh. Thanks. I yeah. don't know if you guys are like digging, digging my own grave, <laughs> digging me in my grave or something like that. We're digging your grave. Yeah, it's very what's possible. Here? <laughs> like, you're telling me to. You're asking me if someone, some. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Let me, okay, let, me, okay. Let, me let me derail it. What are we talking about? No, you today? can't. Oh, what are we okay. Talking, yeah. What are we talking about today? <coughs> Sorry about that. What are we talking about, guys? Today. Organic eggs. Organic eggs. What oh, organic oh, eggs? animal rights and that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because organ- Bablu, Bablu, hold on, okay, hold on, yeah. Go on. He buys these caged chicken eggs. Okay. I think that's horrendous, bruv. You need to really check Hold your on. life. Wait, <laughs> we can't start a conversation with personal attacks it's on Bablu. It's true, though. <laughs> We're talking to... about our views. It, yeah. It's true, though, so isn't it? Maybe he needs to change his life. That... He needs to really look at himself in the mirror and, you know, make a change. Don't be a hypocrite, bruv. Are you, are you quoting <laughs> Michael bro, Jackson? You're the biggest hypocrite, bruv. I've, this, I've literally quoted Michael Jackson to you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's the I, man I, in the mirror. I, I buy organic. <laughs> <laughs> I buy organic eggs. But are you doing enough? No, but it's my bit, bit in it. Little yeah, bit. You, in your it. bit. It's not enough, Abdin man. But it's like yeah, but it's a little bit in it. Yeah. So so imagine right. all these chickens. Well, yeah. You, yeah. Imagine all these chickens stuck in a cage, mm. laying eggs. What yeah. if you were stuck in a cage laying eggs? What, what would you chickens? do, bruv? Where do your chickens come from? They're all stuck in a massive farm. That's why I'm going to go to organic. You, oh, you go to, so you're not going organic. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, actually, yeah. So one, how long have you been on this? Wait, actually, wait, wait, wait guys, can I, can I interject one thing? Yeah. So there's one, one thing that you guys said was really interesting that I heard about recently, you know, doing your bit. Hmm. So doing your bit, according to this climate scientist, he goes that that's one of the biggest, um, like, hoaxes on people that... Oh, has been. Oh on. man, he goes. No, I, was no, gonna, he goes I, I thought you were gonna no, say. What happens is he goes. What happens is you know, like when you start stopping using plastic bags. Yeah. Yeah. He goes. The global impact for Western people using plastic bags is very small compared to other parts. And he goes, when people start using, say, hemp bags or whatever, they think, oh, now I'm doing my bit. And actually, that bit is very small. So what he was saying was. Well, it's not just one area of your life you've got to change. You've got to change like this loads is of... Why exactly, that is... I'm on the path of but you have redemption a, you, you, here, bro. No, no, no. You've You're have, not. Okay, You're okay, going okay. backwards. No, no, no. You're I'm, eating like 30 caged eggs. I'm not preaching. You're 30 the, caged I eggs. Think, exactly, I'm trying to change your ways, innit? You can't change my ways because I have to follow someone. You can't follow, follow me. Follow, yeah, but... I'm a good role model, innit? <laughs> look, look. Okay, um... Organic eggs, not organic, but cage-free eggs. You've been eating them for over a year, year two years. I know you've been eating them for a long time, right? Yeah, yeah. But you have made no other changes. Um, yeah, Why have you been doing uh, all those two years? If you're so passionate about saving the environment, helping the animals, no, the what animals, happens? At least the animals. Okay, fine. The reason, the way I you justify, just do your bit. the way I mean, I would love to start eating organic chicken, What's but they're flipping you? expensive. They're like sixty okay, pounds. Okay, shall, 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 shall I go straight to it? You're just making excuses. Okay, That's fine. That. So, but I'm, I'm trying. I spoke to Jubair today. Hmm. I'm gonna make that transition. Hopefully, inshallah, inshallah, inshallah to okay. get in organic chickens. Okay, but okay. Rather that. than rather than the personal attacks, why don't you say why you want to go to? it? I love the personal attacks on him. <laughs> it gets him flustered. I like, <laughs> I like the fish, yeah. fish boy. I thought he was resilient. Because I'm bruv. sure you don't disagree with the sentiment of wanting to go down that route, right? No, no, my, my, my argument is, I've seen the stats and the numbers. What you quoted is exactly the reason I, don't, I haven't gone down that route. Mm. The pollution, majority of the pollution is coming from America, China, India. Mm. I think we, we contribute, don't quote me on the stats. Yeah. I think less than like 15, 10, 15 to 10%, this is all of Europe put together of the world popul- um, pollution. I mm. think, no, it's less than 10% of the pollution. Okay. Majority is coming out for those three big countries. Yeah. We are not making enough. We can't, we can't make a change. We're already minimized. Mm. You're going to knock off another percent. That's not going to make any difference to the environment. Okay. You need those big countries to hunker, uh, hunker down. And that's the reason I haven't followed a path. I yeah. think what he said but is what right. what about animals? <clears throat> yeah, because we're animals, talking about animals. Yeah, yeah but this is the thing. Else, yeah, yeah but, but animals as well at the same time is you, you have to think about everything. I'm, I'm not going to do, yeah, I'm going to eat eggs. Mm. Okay, then I'm going to eat chicken that's been kept in a farm with no legs. 
you know what I mean? I have a conscience. I want to do the right thing. But it's a bit like saying, it's a bit like saying, I got a festering wound on my chest, but I got like five more wounds on my legs. If I can't put a bandage on all yeah, six but of that's these not, wounds, no, 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 I'm not no, going no, to clean that's, this wound here. No, no, but it's different. This, this is yourself. You start somewhere. No, 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 but it's your conscious. But you start somewhere. Yeah, yeah, but it gets my conscious muddled up. If I'm going to do the right thing, I'm going to do it properly. So all there's of it no in one go, boom. There, there's no point of doing a half a job. I think I'm done. That's it. That's what but you're, you're going to do, do everything in stages, right? Yeah, but you start your stage two years ago and, and you I know, know two years in it. That's my, you know, you know the, the thing, leveling up. It takes two years for me to level up, innit? Yeah, but this is the thing. I would have agreed with you if you showed me the way, bro. Is that, I, is am, that, I am showing bro, the way. You, you're Every like, time no, I no, go. You're a bit like Mario. He still hasn't got the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's what you what? are, bro. What does that mean? I don't even, I don't even know. That is what I need by is this, is this code word for trying to get hold of DMT? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can just resort to the drugs. Yeah. Are you talking about magic mushrooms? <laughs> exactly. Okay. You let me know when you guys look into yeah, that. Get some mushrooms, eh? <laughs> Organic ones. So uh, the reason okay. I every time, mm. every time I've gone shopping with you, or you've come shopping with me, yeah, and you go for the cheaper, nasty, mm. you know, bruv, it's not even that much eggs. Okay, fine. With chickens, right? How much do we buy chickens for? Actually, it's probably not that much, but you know, it's like four pounds or something. And then an organic one is flipping seventeen pounds or something like that, right? But with eggs. You buy it for how much is a 15, 15 uh, those I, I, cheap, I don't nasty know. eggs, caged ones? I don't know. One for being torture, bruv. Evil two ones. Pounds? One? Evil one? devil eggs, bruv. Yeah, okay. Yeah, two pounds, yeah, for 15. Mm. You can get 10 organic eggs. I, I, Hold on, mm. I have it finished. Okay. Shh. Okay, 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 boy. 10 for 100, 200, 200, 2 pounds 80, bruv. 80p, bruv. Where do you guys do your shopping? Uh, Tesco. Tes- oh. right, let's get some. Let's get some prices. Yeah. So the other day I went to Tesco's. Actually, yesterday I went to Tesco's. 10, 10 organic eggs, two pounds eighty. Yeah, that's not bad. Well, I can't afford it. It's a financial eighty uh, p. Abdin is a pl- financial. You can't. Yeah, it's the same with you. Said you can't afford organic. Then don't chicken. egg. Don't don't, uh, don't. Okay, eat shall eggs. we base it on exactly? Um, you're using the same. I'm using the same argument you used earlier on. You can't afford organic chicken because it's too expensive. Look, I can't look, afford let, organic let me, eggs. Let me base it on the six pack. Yeah, mm. the six pack of large free range mm. is one pound. And what, how many eggs in a large? No, it's a six pack. Okay, six eggs, yeah. So, six yeah. eggs, one pound. Mm. Um, and then the organic ones is one pound 25. 25p more, bro. That is like bare cheap. Actually, to be fair, I shouldn't compare free range because free range the chickens are still going out. Mm. I should maybe talk about the Apparently cage. It's ones, not, though. It? Huh? What were you saying about free range? Free range is just a a bigger area to ro- roam in. It's not actually they go bigger, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like a true. bigger cage or something. Yeah, yeah, they're still yeah. in cages. I, I, I don't know about that, but I know um, free range means that they're not kept in okay. a cage. They're That's, not kept in a cage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, and you go with cage, proper cage. Like even yeah. you could even go with free range at least. That is how I started off. I went from cage to free range, and now it's organic. See, I have. Been Why is organic? Like, I don't know. So you know, okay, so I'll tell you. I'll it's, tell you. It's, guys, you it's know, approved um, by the RSPC. One one thing I started doing recently with yeah. as much food no, as I can, not that. everything, is started um, eating organic, whereas vegetables, um, eggs. What's and, your reason? First of all, even start going into that. Okay, area. so first and foremost, yeah, like literally the first first thing is hemorrhoids. Not. <laughs> it's do you know what? It's health reason. So yeah, he's kind of right. It's it's literally he's because um. Me. I want to put. Um, he's qualified too. So. <laughs> no, actually, I can't check. I need a. I'll need a. Oh, I can't even say. Propped up. Prop, 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 <laughs> I'm a clinician. I can't even say. <laughs> Don't you just need your like your your phone and your finger. No, no, no. You can't. You can't. Sorry, Jabed. You can't feel hemorrhoids with your finger. You can feel prostate, but a hemorrhoid oh, really? you can't feel with the finger. What is it? Unless it's huge and it's thrombosed and it's manky, but otherwise you can't feel it because it's so cushiony. It's like. Whoosh, whoosh. Uh. <laughs> He's like, uh, your uh, was like, oh shit, I, I got that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, go on, carry on. Yeah, so basically, it. the first reason was mm. health benefits. Yeah. So, with a lot of the other food, there's tons of chemicals in it. Um, one thing that you can know for sure about a capitalist society is that they can and will sell you stuff that can make you ill. Like, they can sell cigarettes. If they can sell cigarettes, they can de- definitely sell vegetables that are not like, so nutritious for you so i decided okay well at the very least let me buy um 
organic so that I know there's not like any pesticides, any fertilizers that are from unnatural sources that is mm. going into my system that could be affecting me in ways that mm. I don't fully understand. So there is an element of like, I don't fully get everything, but at least I know to the best of my ability. Obviously, I didn't grow it. So I can't say, oh, it's mm. completely free of this or free of that. You're just going by the word of what you've seen and heard. Yeah. Well, that is the idea of organic, isn't it? Like, yeah. So that's not using... Um, you know the harmful chemicals in farming and in husbandry, husbandry and etc. Was yeah. that for the EU had a law on how much chemicals we actually use on our? Uh, they farm. do. They do. So I, I, the European standards are much better than other Amer- parts of America. Yeah. The worst. Yeah. So like that's why if you <clears throat> excuse me if you chose to eat stuff in the UK that's not <coughs> organic, Alhamdulillah, I think for the most part you're probably still better off than people in other parts mm. of the world for sure yeah, for sure you, in bangladesh they still have this issue as well a lot of the stuff so it's a formalin yeah that's yeah, like yeah. this chemical oh, i always oh. hear, hear them saying formalin yeah they, formalin. it's like a pesticide which they spray like okay. so there was a, a massive thing where people stop eating mm. fruits mm. because of this this formalin or whatever it's called yeah um and i i i remember that I, I think my dad was heavily into fruits mm. and he was in Bangladesh during that period. Yeah. And I think that is what put him off fruits. He doesn't he eat much yeah. fruits anymore. So then the second stage of why I went organic is more to do with meat, meat and like animals and stuff. And, you know, Islamically, we shouldn't eat stuff. I mean, firstly, you shouldn't rear animals specifically for, for food. Oh. For food, okay, do yeah, like you, you can look after animals because they help you with different things like farming and whatever. But it's not supposed to be like a full-on industry, like a meat industry. Mm. Historically, it was never like that. Um, but because it is like that, animals are pumped full of um, all different types of uh, what's it called uh, steroids and antibiotics and things like that to mm. help them grow so that keep it's, the diseases away and yeah. keep diseases and away and been, so that it's. Um, <clears throat> More commercially yeah, they're viable. They actually sometimes fed other animals as well. Ex- well, some Thank chickens you, exactly. eat their dead brethren. Like they'll they'll just start munching. Like they'll they'll die they'll die overnight, and yeah. the chickens have devoured it. Yeah, chickens are. Li- so for for that reason, it's almost like a spiritual thing that mm. I want to eat in such a way, especially with meat, like animals, mm. things that have lived and are you know they are mm. creations of Allah. They should be respected as creatures. So so <clears throat> so how does it differ? Because creations of Allah, yes. And we're taught to eat meat, sacrificing. What is the difference between mass producing and doing it on a smaller scale? It's, it's the same no. Thing. It's like, for example, keeping something like really locked up against its will in sub. I mean, I, I can't say subhuman standards, but subhumane standards. Mm. Um, stuffed full of like, I, I recently watched this thing on Netflix where they were talking about how these chickens that are reared in those cages and stuff. Mm the way that they're reared after five weeks they have to be slaughtered because mm. they're so really? pumped yeah they're so pumped full of growth hormone mm. that their legs can't even support their weight anymore well it's not just growth hormones they've actually been selectively bred like the white cornishes whatever okay to only grow they'll become slaughter heavy mm. after about 36 to 45 weeks mm. after that yeah as Jubair said they won't be able to stand on their feet so they have to go to slaughter at that point Mm. Yeah. Uh, even if the you know some of these so the way the the reason i got into you know not organic but thinking about what i'm eating or thinking about how animals are reared was after the massive hoo-ha behind the you know uh muslims are bar- barbaric they go into farms and de- decapitate animals and just eat them right and i couldn't get that i couldn't get my head around that that people are making such a fuss about 12 seconds or even less worst case scenario 60 seconds of a ma- of an animal's life and completely disregarded the 36 weeks 30, 45 weeks it's, it's of actually misery. more to that the muslim thing is a bit more to that it's attack because when they bring that up muslims are barbaric they don't ever bring judaism mm. into that same conversation yeah, yeah. you will never mm. hear that yeah. so it, i think it's more of an attack rather than animal rights yeah, 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 I, yeah. I would, I would maybe rights. maybe it is but the, you know they, they they have they're using a means they're, they're using something there you know mm. they're seeing that this is animal rights but it doesn't make sense and a lot of people are blinded by by when someone says animal rights they completely forget yeah yeah you yeah. know they're and Emotion. you know uh, uh, they become quite uh, blinkered and narrow-minded and you know i think it's important to not only think about the i think it's important for us as muslims to really think about how we're slaughtering the animals it's true you know this studies have shown that in halal slaughterhouses uh, the equipment isn't as good as kosher courthouse um, Mm. uh, slaughterhouses you could say maybe it's an attack but you know they're in kosher uh, you know as muslims we can eat kosher Mm. and it's kind of the same type of 
uh, principles and mm-hmm. you know same type Kosh, of kosher thing is the thing that I didn't understand is when someone says you could eat the food uh, food of the book of the people right yeah it doesn't make sense because we can't eat it because the book they follow is not the original book so in theory we can't well, eat anything from these people I, I, I think correct? I think um, we go in I think you are a little bit right and a lot of so recently I went to Peru mm. and Peru is a very Christian country mm. and I I was bruv I really wanted to eat alpaca in Peru. I so really? badly wanted to eat it. It looked so delicious. And my mates were eating it. And um, cause obviously some of them were non-Muslim and some of them are Muslim, but they were like, people of the book is fine. So then I had to check about, um, is mm, it legit? Mm. Is it okay? And uh, it's w- what you said, basically, like there's two fronts. One is how, say regardless of whether they follow it properly or not, or if the book is tainted, whatever, you can eat it. So long as the guy who slaughtered it definitely is, yeah, like one of those, but you can't know because, no. you know, even like say too much one, doubt. In that. Yeah, say even say one in ten is not following it. That's still like ten percent mm. chance. Mm. But then the other thing is what you said, where so another sheikh was like, well, you know, it doesn't. It's the people now who are following it is it's really, it's it's far removed from mm. you know the people before. The however, source. yeah. However, having said that, just because someone accepts the Trinity. Or just because someone doesn't believe in the afterlife, so whether you're talking about the Jews or the Christians, um, that doesn't that doesn't take them out of that fold of the people of the book. Because mm. I I, re- I read okay. up on that recently. Because even in the Quran, we are yeah. told about the yeah, Trinity yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so yeah. why the would the Quran three, say, yeah. you know, talk about the Trinity, but then say it's okay to follow the people of the book in terms of their food and marrying their women mm. and stuff? So the way I understood <clears> that is the process. Of you know when you look at the process of kosher, it's very similar to the the slaughter of of uh, you know Muslim slaughter, yeah. where yeah, you know yeah. we, you have to kill the animal very quickly with a very sharp knife. Um, but however, the studies that have sh- studies have shown that in Muslim slaughterhouses we're using smaller knives, mm. which isn't kind of it's not killing the animal. Is an actual swiftly. person cutting it? Uh, I've heard stories and, uh, you know, I've got... Well, it's Stanley, there should be... Uh, Is it a machine should... that has the, the words coming out and they just... Yeah, there's, there's. I've heard stories. So about there, there are know. stories like that, and this is why where mm-hmm. HMC came into kind of the the the, the playground and uh, looking into that is is it just people just put a tape on and it's just mm. going through a machine? Mm. Obviously, having a person there slaughtering every single animal is going to be more expensive, uh, <clears throat> but. For Muslims, it needs to be a person, it needs to be a Muslim, and he, he needs to take the permission from God. And I think that's important, and I think it gives us a bit of, you know, it adds to that huma- humaneness, that we're not just willy-nilly going and killing something without any consciousness, you know, mm. to just eat eat it. I think the, the fact that even if you don't believe in God, the fact of going through that process that this animal belongs to something, or belongs to something bigger... And taking the permission, whether you believe in the universe, whether it's the universe, whether it's the earth, whether it's God, whether it's Buddha, you know, if you are asking permission from it, you realize that, you know what, I am, I'm not, I'm not superior, you know, okay, fine, I'm not. I can't just take life, uh, the, uh, the life but, but of this I, I, animal Abdin, without... We're, we're, we're Muslims, so we sit in that way, but, but a non-Muslim, non-believer doesn't see it. They no, see it as a I, reason. They would is, see it, This they, is why I'm saying, isn't it? Like, they, you don't, don't need to believe it. in God to have that. I think it's a humane, it's a, it's a thing that you need to be conscious of, that you can't go around. It's murder otherwise, isn't it? You can't go around killing animals. Okay, you, you kill a uh, person and someone will call you that uh, you're, you're a murderer. But it's a similar thing. You're going to go and kill a, li- a living animal. Um, f- uh, yeah, okay, fine. You want to eat it. But I think adding that, that dimension of asking permission, taking permission from whatever you believe in, for us, it's God. Hmm. You know, it kind of gives, gives us that barrier, tells us, you know, whether it's a delusion, but tells us that, you know what, essentially we aren't really, we don't have the right to take the life of this animal. Mm. We are taking the life of the, this animal because we are, it's a necessity or, you know, it will help us in one way or another. And even still, even still, we are taking, we are going, you know, taking responsibility for, for it. By asking permission from, from yeah, God. and I I, so I, agree, I agree with you and disagree with you because <clears throat> I agree because I'm a Muslim. Yeah, and we try to find the most most humane way of killing an animal is this way. There is no other method. I'm but that, that's of. the thing, isn't it? Like but non-Muslims. However, but however, yeah. However, non-Muslims will say because they don't believe in any of this higher power or anything, they will just see it as as, as we're using a means or God 
to kill these animals. Okay, it's, it's, well, it's our I think, excuse. I think that, that is the next that, part. Like, I mean, I that, think, that's I think they will. I, I personally think... They I think, do, man. It's, I, it's I, I, they no, I think do. the, the uh, you know, the non-Muslims always, also, they, they feel that they should be responsible, they should be humane. Hence why they attack Muslims for uh, uh, killing, okay, killing, the, the, this killing is animals but, in no, no, such no, no, a no, manner. Realistically, no, the word humane now is different for us, for them. That's where the argument is. They... For us, well, I don't know. I don't think so because, because what I we think do, if we're doing what what we believe is humane, how come they don't believe it's well, humane? They, this mean, is what I mean. I, I think it's They're the same. Humane is different. I think they, they 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 think bolted to the head is more humane than that. We don't. So well, this, I is, think, this is a misunderstanding. I think, I think well, when you go down to the nitty gritty of things, it's just the animal doesn't suffer, and that is what we mean by humane. Both, uh, you know, when you look at bo- both sides' sentiment behind that, uh, you know, in in Islam, we need to kill the animal very quickly uh, with a very sharp knife the you can't kill it in front of its friends um etc etc how right? do you know the animal's not su- suffering is there any studies or actual things but there say? are certain there have been some studies and oh, yes actually, can i let me yep. just chime in yeah mm. i remember so after my grandmother passed away mm. we did shinni so shinni is basically when um you donate food to the poor out of um love of, of of someone who's deceased and in their memory and was it was it here or back home? it was in bangladesh yeah and so we my nana obviously is very like he's a big spending type person so he got 10 cows oh. to slaughter and then wow. give to like loads of people Balling. and um yeah so <laughs> <laughs> i i um was imagine i was like a proper young kid yeah. at the time but old enough that i would be able to understand like what's going on mm. so uh they started slaughtering these cows mm. And obviously, this is very un-Islamic, but the, uh, one cow could see the other cow being slaughtered. And, bro, I can tell you for sure, it knew what was going on. Oh. It's not like cows are dumb and they don't realize, oh, that cow's dying, but I don't understand. For me, as like a nine-year-old or however old I was, it seemed to me like these cows were crying. Hmm. Like, I could remember they were making noises and moaning. They weren't hmm. mooing. They were moaning and they were, hmm. they were really distressed. Like, you could tell they were proper distressed. Because so, really, so what you're saying is when they cut it, they didn't do it by the book. No, mm. they definitely didn't do it by the book. They slaughtered it, I mean, like that, but mm. they shouldn't have had the other ones there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, Actually, they, they, don't, they don't. I, yeah. I never fought by that. You know that. Wow. wow. Sad, bro. You see, this is the thing, isn't it? Like, us Muslims, we... We're so quick to defend ourselves, but we, there's no action behind... Okay, you know what? Let's actually look at this stuff. Mm. And, you know, um, we aren't slaughtering... We probably aren't slaughtering things properly. Animals properly. Are you eating a chocolate bar? Yeah. John. Did, did you slaughter it properly? <laughs> <laughs> you just ripped his head off, bro. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Mm. So, yeah, I think it's important. But the anyway, so that's... Uh, the, the studies have shown, yeah, people... You know, when you cut um, the, the animal... Uh, there is a moment that there is some pain. I'm not going to say there isn't any pain. There, uh, come on, man. Oh, gonna, yeah, of course, you come to the nerves. Yeah, man. it's going to be painful, right? But it's going to be for, um, uh, well, I, I say, but in a very, very uh, relative way, very relative way, you know? I, I really wouldn't hope anything to suffer, uh, suffer pain. We don't understand how much pain that is, though. Hmm. So is it like you know, a, a paper cut or is it like childbirth? Yeah. Or is it being shot in the head? I mean, shot in the knee or something like that. You know, we don't know how much it is, but we can say that the pain, maybe newer studies have shown how much it is, but we can say that they do feel some, some sort of pain. Um, and that might be for about 60 seconds maximum because, you know, the, uh, you know, if you, especially if you cut the carotid artery, it's a massive vessel providing blood and oxygen to the yeah, brain. But you know, the brain stays active more than 60 seconds, right? So the brain will shut down. Like any type of I like understand. when I, we look I, I, at human beings, yeah, but so, I understand the brain stays active long after the rest of the body is completely gone, right? Yeah, well, well I mean, then. if it's starved of oxygen, it will die quite quickly. Mm. So, whether it's active in a very un- it is, will it, kill. But is it the last organ to die, though? Um, no, it's probably the first organ to die. Oh, wow. It, well, you know, we as clinicians, we say brain dead, right? Mm. That is what we define as but, death. Because, because I've read, I've read up. Um, Actually, I can't, I can't quote you right now, but I read up on, you know, back in the days when they used to chop people's heads off, the brain was alive. Well, and- there is, there is, there was a famous study of this guy who got executed and he told his disciples to kind of, you know, he was doing an experiment. And what he said that when I get executed, I will blink my, blink my eyes hmm. um, to kind of find out how long the brain stays alive. And it was 12 seconds. 
he blinked his eyes for 12 seconds and then he died. But bear in mind, you know, that, that is they've severed the spinal cord and etc. But anyway, the, the, the thing is you starve, the, you will fall unconscious at least. Might not die, but unconscious. Hmm. So the animal will fall unconscious by about 60 seconds, hmm. right? And the animal might go through some, uh, some pain during but, that but, 60 seconds. But, but they're feeling pain. Regardless. Isn't the most humane thing to do is not become a vegetarian? Isn't that? No, so the, this is, this is why, where I'm getting at, right? I think, uh, you know, that, that 60 seconds is nothing compared to the 36 weeks or 45 weeks, however many weeks mm. these uh, chickens need to endure while they're alive, you know, where they have you know, organ failures, they have, uh, you know, hip fractures, they're, they're, they're too heavy to stand on their, on their leg, they're being kicked around, they're in, you know, they, they've never seen the sky, etc., etc. Maybe this, the chicken doesn't want to ski, see the sky. But, you know, it is very unnatural. So for 36 weeks, how much, the question is, how much pain are these chickens going through during those 36 weeks or 45 weeks? We don't, I don't know. Uh, exactly. Is it more than the 30 seconds, uh, 60 seconds that a barbaric Muslim puts an animal through? So yeah, I think but, but, this but, 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 a lot of these, some of these Muslim places do get those chickens with missing legs and stuff and also put them through that exactly sleep. exactly and this is this is this is why i start thinking about you know what i need to really look into what i'm eating and if it's if it is halal because the criteria of being halal isn't just slaughter it in this way mm. uh you know you, with a sharp knife friends don't see uh in the name of god or take the permission from god it's that they have to have a long healthy life you can't slaughter an animal that is mm you know crippled or that uh, you know it's on its last leg or anything like that and i would say a lot of the animals i mean so after that 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 incident i was watching a lot of there's a lot of material on youtube about these you know secret footages of slaughterhouses yeah, secret yeah, footage. Yeah. and europe. it's horrendous in yeah, europe and america it's disgusting mm. um have you guys seen okja hmm? yeah i've watched have it, you yeah. seen okja oh. on netflix no 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 cgi looked too bad for me no it's good film it's good man it's really it's good really film. good the fat hippo one yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's quite a good like uh, thing to like get people to think about these issues. I know it's probably more on like a vegan hype, but I think um, uh, I, I'm not sure the vegan thing is a trend or what is that? Because everyone that I talk it's like about, a religion, isn't it? It is, and like every one day there was there were um, a meat eater. Next minute they're vegan. That's that one extreme to another. I'm it's like, very extreme. Yeah, I, I can't figure it out. No, I like, think I think I'm I'm more on. You know what you're saying about being vegetarian being the more humane thing. Yeah. So. Because organic is expensive. Mm -hmm. So with us, what we're doing is we're transitioning to it. Mm. We're like, our freezers are still full of the old stuff. Mm. We're just getting rid of that. And then I, I did um, an order recently. And it just, because it's so expensive, it just means we'll eat less meat and chicken. Mm. So there is an element of like introducing more of a vegetarian yeah. diet because, you know, it's just, yeah. that's what else there is. But, uh, but have you seen any benefits to it? Other than your moral and conscious benefits to it, have you ever seen any physical... I, I would say in large part, yeah, in large part, it's psychologically how you feel about it. Okay. Yeah, it's not that I've, um, overnight, I've suddenly realised, oh my God, I've got like 20% more endurance. And, yeah. You know, it's nothing like that. Because the other stuff, you are going to get nutrients from it. Mm. Um, but, you know, when you're talking about the margins of mm. return, they're very small, right? It's like, I'll probably feel 2% better. But it's more about... Um, so th with the animals specifically, it's more about how, what the animals go through before we eat them. Does that make sense? Mm, mm. So it, yeah, of course it's like, oh, I feel good about myself because I know that these animals had hopefully, inshallah, had long, healthy lives compared well, to... That, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, you know, have the studies been done? Have the appropriate studies been done? Are the appropriate being, studies being, being funded? You know, the, the, the question is if... Uh, an animal is going through a lot of stress and producing a lot of, you know, we, we, we see it that, you know, when you're slaughtering an animal, that if they have too much, uh, if they're stressed out a bit too much, then the meat can get spoiled. So mm. we can see that there is, a, um, you know, some sort of physical manifestation. But, you know, like all things, the, the psychological manifestation is more insidious, isn't it? Mm. So the question is, you know, if an animal is going through stress, for long periods of time, and in no, fact, his no, no, because there's certain parts of the world believe otherwise. Um, have you uh, seen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, have, you've seen it, right? Where yeah, they cook yeah. the animal live. Yes, so yes, and they oh. they believe they believe that it eating tastes it alive. Better. It tastes have better. You, have you seen when they cook? Um, I've seen those it, right? eggs. Those oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those Half. eggs with like oh. fetal 
um, birds They're basically in it. fetuses. fetuses. They eat yeah. embryos. Um, no, but um, how can you eat a boiled egg with like a bird in it which hasn't been feathered and uh, yeah, have you seen the fish one have you seen the fish one no so what they do with the fish they get a boil hot in water put all the ingredients in get the fish that's nothing bro. Okay, um, but leaves the fish head it's still alive mm. and um, they're cooking it while it's still alive it's keeping it alive well, eating it while it's still breathing throughout you, you gotta watch the dog ones oh my god dog and cat ones they put them in bags and yeah. they throw them into boiling hot water that's one and Wait, I have you seen this sorry but they, but I've they, seen this oh okay I've, I've seen it on YouTube really there's like crazy. stuff there's stuff on YouTube like this okay so I thought and then I saw I thought that was the worst of it then I saw them skinning a dog alive and on in markets the the skin dot kind of moving around mm. and I thought that was okay fine that's but, that's the worst then oh this is the worst Oh, you know, you have, obviously dogs have fur yeah. and eventually you're going to have to singe that off. Yeah. So guess what they do? What? They blowtorch them while they're alive, bro. And the dogs are just running around and they're just running after them. But the question what? is though, that's, messed th- that's their delicacy. In the West, they have a very similar delicacy with the birds. In France, I think they, it's a particular bird. I can't remember what it is. They capture the bird mm. and they fatten it up. Oh, well, I think, foie gras. oh yes, yes. Yeah, the liver, yeah, yeah. the liver. Yeah, and yeah. They yeah. like force feed. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and they eat it. They, they ducks, cook it alive. They, yeah, ducks. they cook it alive. Well, there's a massive thing around that. Like, so, so, you know, so, so the question is, from a Western point of view, where we're saying, oh, look, look at the people from this part of the world. They're, they're uncivilized. They're doing this, but then again, we're doing it as well. well also, they do um, as well. lobsters, we lobsters. We, we're still man. doing it. Isn't Have you seen it? them when they make lobsters? They just yeah, chuck yeah, them in boiling water. Well, you know what? Double That's interesting. Right? Like we haven't, we 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 think that oh maybe lobsters don't feel pain because they, they don't do? have no, no, enough no, no, no. The enough science neural. They, they, they feel pain. Yeah, but the thing is, that is the thing. That is the question. Is their neural connectivity complex enough for them to feel pain? And people ask that. That, that it's not, I believe it's a question that hasn't. Maybe maybe it has. But the last time I checked, it hasn't been answered. But is it because it hasn't been answered because it's in their favour to not answer I it? I don't know. I think it is because pe- people say if something, a complex creature is a, a lobster can't feel pain, but we could say a plant could feel pain. That makes yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that yeah, makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, plants do have a lot of connectivity, like the roots and stuff like that. Mm. But anyway, what, what I, even still, okay, if I'm so, believing in something and the reality of something is quite different, isn't mm. it? And we, we've been at the forefront of that where we believe in God and other people say you, you're irrational right but um you know the the question i was asking is if an animal has gone through a lot of stress and they're going to release a lot of these uh you know stressful hormones and neurotransmitters and stuff like that is that going to have some sort of impact on us does is that having some sort of impact on us you know and what what, what, what sense are you talking about impact on us like for example in uh you know eating ill animals yeah yeah definitely i think you know uh, so going back to what you asked about do i feel better so Maybe I haven't been eating it long enough to say, oh, yeah, I definitely feel better. But mm. it's it's a good point. Like, you are what you eat, right? And yeah, when yeah. I see, because I've got relatives or mm. I know friends of family who their kids eat junk all day and they look like junk, <laughs> you know. And then I've got friends, you know, funnily enough, a lot of the time they're non-Muslim. But I've got friends who they eat really good food and they they look like, you know, Greek statues. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so part of me is like, you know what, there there must be some logic to I mean, it's, it's, it's a basic formula, right? Input in equals input out. Mm. Oh, sorry, like you're going to get something after you put something into a machine. If you put bad fuel into a car, mm. you're going to clog up the engine, right? So I can't say now based off what I've experienced. But, that, but it doesn't explain this. What? Yeah, so he's saying well, physically, I'm genes. saying mentally. Him, it doesn't explain this. Oh, he, he just got good genes, bro. <laughs> yeah, you put bad fuel, it still comes out. <laughs> Good. No, but you don't know no, what's happening here's inside. Here's the thing, though. He could be. How much better could he be? That's the question. That's the thing. I think. Yeah, he's got, he, I is, think he's got a well, limit, quite high limit. But the, if he was yeah. but, the, but the thing is, like, okay, fine. Sometimes I do he- eat rubbish food, but a lot Sometimes. of the times, a lot of the time, <laughs> Shut up, I spend time not eating, and I think that is. I have to say. All these years, I've been observing and experimenting on myself. I think it's the not eating part, and I would recommend this to everybody. Without, you know, I would strongly recommend it because th- there's enough studies out there to show that not eating calorie restriction is the way forward. I've yeah, been yeah, telling no one, you, no, 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 I've been telling I, you this I, I, for I have ages. I disagree with you. I have a disagree with you. Oh, okay, fine. I don't know. <laughs> I have, um, I'm just greedy. That's the only thing. But well, okay, but I, I think I think I Me think. Too. <laughs> if if it doesn't have phys- physical manifestation eating this type of food i 
I, I, I would say that it has some sort of mental manifestation uh, mm -hmm. through either, you know, these uh, interest in uh, diseases that we have, mental diseases that we have. I think it's a question that we can ask. Does certain foods, for example, or farmed animals, is that going to increase your likelihood of depression? It sounds like a stupid no, and sh absurd sh 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 title of uh, research, but I think... I think is important and I think it's so it'd be so difficult sorry it'd be so difficult to examine that mm. because it's so insidious it's so you know mental health and you know it's so obscure uh, I, be honest because I grew up eating this type of food that mm. chicken the cane I I see the videos but it doesn't have that same impact it's had on you guys mm. and that's the reason I haven't made that massive change that's I, because, I haven't, I haven't that's had, because you're soulless bruv that's bruv <laughs> There's been a lot of personal attacks in this conversation. I'll, I'll, I'll let him fight. I'll let him fight. He is the youngest of the group. Yeah. Butcher. Um. Still looking for that mushroom, yeah? Still looking. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> um, but, but I think I I I I think going organic is important. Um, whether you do it, I mean. Even if you don't want to save the environment, even if you don't want to save yourself, you're, you're going to want, we're all going to die one day. Food isn't, mm. going, isn't going to save us. But I think uh, for the sake of animals, um, it's, it's important, especially for us Muslims, because it's a very important thing in our, in our religion, in our culture. I, I haven't been around, and I know I need to make my own path and start making people around me follow the right way of doing it, but because I'm surrounded by it me, so bruv. much. I'm Jedi. Bruv, you do one thing and you do another thing. So you're the worst example. No, do you know what? I think with me, yeah. all of this stuff is only possible if it's sustainable and yes. it's exactly. in small steps. Mm. Like, there's exactly. no way I could have. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about your small steps. My right? small, yeah. small steps. Like, when, did you when, teach him that? I, I don't know, bruv. I'm a Jedi master, innit? Maybe. Bruv, can I tell you something? Yeah. yeah. Can I t let, me, let me tell you something. Yeah. I'm sorry. This, we're on. all getting into personal sex. I went to, I traveled to Jerusalem with this guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't. And we slept in the same hotel room. No, hold every on. day I'd he, wake well, up. Let, let, let finish. Every day I'd wake up, yeah, and I'd see like we we're leaving the room and my bed is so nice and his bed is a mess. And I'd be like, bruv, <laughs> come on. And he like, was oh. he was married, okay. He no, had been no, well no. trained. <laughs> And then, and, then, then. And, then, and then he'd say like oh yeah the room surface will do it <laughs> and then like I swear, so I swear him, less than a year ago he says to me bruv I read this book here it's about habits I think you should start doing a better room <laughs> oh. I was like I literally went calm down Jabez. hold on <laughs> hold on yeah just, just he's, don't he's, say nothing he's, to he's moaning you're moaning about fixing the bed what about every time I got into bed and suddenly you would join me in bed and ask me to what? hold your hand. No, but while that, that, what, okay, hey, okay, wait, wait, where's this wait, going, wait, bro? Wait, wait. You're that, married at this time. That is yeah? a completely different conversation, okay? <laughs> that's got nothing to do with good habits. And then, uh, and <laughs> then leaving, that's got leaving to, things behind for me to use on my face, which. which <laughs> what, towels? <laughs> Okay. That's for the next one. Yeah, obviously, like because we. Good thing you said towels. I was ins insinuating something in my head. Oh, you're okay. a di you're di okay. dirty <laughs> minded, bro. <laughs> so good thing you said that. Uh, obviously, um, like young men away from <laughs> their wives for two weeks. Stack you know? experimented. <laughs> Broke back mountain, Jerusalem. <laughs> I haven't seen that yet, but okay. We've gone completely off. Track, I know, right? I know. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Somewhat. Let's let's try no, to. Bring I'll this just back. say that basically. No, none of this stuff, especially the organic food and whatever, is possible un unless it's small, small steps. And then with my with my dad, because he's the one who buys all the meat and the vegetables mm. and stuff, I literally had to just say to my mom, please, just tell dad, I'll get the meat I'm now. So, I'm so, okay, so you get the meat now. Yeah, and I just said to him, like, don't tell him, please tell him, don't buy any more meat. Um, I'll get it. And at the moment, what we're doing is with, because our freezers, we've got big, you know, those big Bengali deep freezers. Mm. We're like slowly, slowly finishing the old stuff. Yeah. And then the new stuff, um, I ordered some and then we'll eat it like on special occasions. But then f when the old stuff is finished, then I'll get enough so that there's like, say, one or two, one chicken a week and maybe like enough lamb for t twice a month. Um, that kind of thing. So like really, really cut Are down. Are your parents taking it though? Because it's a household thing, isn't it? Yeah. So to be honest, they're fine with it because they, they, they eat fish. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So they're not that fussed by you it. You know what? I'm not fussed with fish. I think I fish. fish is... Fish is great. You know, even, you know, the, the nasty shutki that we eat. Best, best meat on the planet is fish. Oh. Not yeah. to touch is fish. But don't forget, fish can also be yeah, farmed. reared, farmed in and ways with chemicals yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. it happens a lot. And yeah. especially Bengali fish. And we eat a lot of Bengali fish. Mm. And they are 
intensely farmed. Yeah, but yeah. But you know, what? I, I think there's going to be. Uh, you know how in the UK there's like a movement towards this healthy. I honestly think in the East it's going to be the same thing where slowly there's like young professional people in Bangladesh, in Pakistan, yeah, yeah. all these p- parts of the world who are like, nah, we we want to eat healthy stuff. Yeah. And they'll because yeah. when there's um when you have young people with disposable income who have those values, they can drive changes in the way things are done because of um. You know, because it's basically capitalism, right? When there is mm. a demand, supply tries to yeah, meet but it. Yeah, I, I agree it's possible here, but back home, uh, it's very different. There's only a small minority of people that are educated anyway. No, bro, you know, in Silet, so I was in Bangladesh recently, yeah. yeah, bro, they have like Deliveroo and stuff. They have, you know, they, it's called Food Panda. Mm. Yeah, so How they, long does are, it take? That's quick, bro. Like, I ordered something, it came in like 40 minutes. So in Rishka? No, the guy came on a motorbike. Oh, okay. So th- there, is, there is people who like, for that to be created, that kind of infrastructure, mm. It means there is well, majority of the who, country is in poverty. You're talking about no, yeah. so you're, yeah, you're right. It's ma- majority of the country. It's not going to be for them. But there, there are people who've got enough money to drive industries to be created. Mm. Like the fact that that industry sprang up because they saw it in other countries. Yeah, but, but there was what, why, enough people. Why did that industry sprang up? There has to be a gain. No one does anything. There has for, to be a gain. Exactly, there has right. to be a gain. Yeah, I, th- I think it's not. A gain. So it's, there will be a gain for the, the people who are doing the farming. They're going to charge. The, the higher prices because that's what it costs mm. and they're going to make a profit and then those other then who does that price go on to us consumers yeah, no, no, exactly you, and the like, people living in the area as so well so my cousin is in the kind of you know he's an amateur farmer mm. and he's from here but he's set up an amateur farm in, in Bangladesh and he's been talking about healthy stuff He's been talking that people are on the fact that they're, you know, they're the chickens. There's a massive scare there. Chicken, ch- chickens are being oh, injected. Oh, the vegetables as well, bro. Everything's been injected yeah. with, with stuff. Even the chickens. Whatever. Yeah. Definitely the chickens. Because <laughs> so, I've eaten the village chickens and they're like, you no, know. No, yeah, village chickens are different. They're ducked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's growing. He's growing yeah. the, what they would call the red chicken. So he calls it the lal murg. The red chicken. Yeah. So they are the, you know, the, the, the nate, whatever, you know, you know, the traditional Bengali okay. kind of chicken. So he has a farm growing that type of chicken. Okay. He also has gone into farming things which can't be uh, farmed in an intensive way. Okay. Um, well, maybe. That's awesome. Can, That's but, amazing. Yeah. And he's, think, he's saying people are looking to eat healthy stuff out there. So yeah. he's farming quail because mm. it's healthier. Yeah. He's farming turkey. We, bro, I saw Turkey. so many. I saw so many turkeys in Bangladesh. Turkey, yeah, yes. Turkey. I've never come across that in my life. In Bangladesh. Bro, there's so many turkeys in Bangladesh. So wow. there is, yeah. there is this, there is this move towards you know healthier. And do you know what? In but Bangladesh, I, I, I assume that because because I'm a village guy, sure, everything's organic. So yes. I haven't seen. You're automatically eating organic. Anyway, yeah, anyway, I haven't yeah, seen yeah. that other side, the dark. No, side. No, no. You know when you go to the markets mm. to buy vegetables and stuff. Mm. Like I noticed when I could hear the conversations. Oh, bazar taki anchoni, or is it from? Is it from the body? Hmm. Like, meaning, is it from the market or is it from... And they're asking that because they know that the stuff from the market has definitely been pumped up. You know Uh, what? To be honest, Bablu went to Bangladesh a very long time ago. Ten years ago. Ten years ago, right? And that time, I would say, that is the time when things were moving towards becoming... Uh, intensely farmed yeah because when i went in 2000 i mean i went when i was 12 years old so that was i would say about 15 years ago Mm -hmm. now um and yeah we were eating like you know those hard scrawny chickens Mm. but we were getting the plump juicy marshmallow chickens from from the bazaar from the from the i didn't pay attention to i assumed we always ate you were just eating everything bruv you're just a savage that's why i'm a kid man i'll eat you know what my parents give me like (laughs) That is how you sound when you eat. <laughs> this is this is a new, for me. This is seeing a different side of Abdid because he loves <laughs> this. Is, this is, he loves I'm, I'm pro- you know what it is? I'm trying to process this. Hilarious! Yeah. It's hilarious. I'm, I'm trying I to think, process this. I genuinely think he's trying to make you Carl Pink- <laughs> no, no, no. Carl Pilkington. You know from um, <laughs> yeah. you know from the Ricky Gervais show. <laughs> the thing uh, is, this guy gets started started on me in it, so I might as well take my shots. Did I start now. on him? Did I start on him? No, but eventually, like he'll he'll <laughs> no, start taking that shots. Was you started on him. I have to be it's impartial. D- defensive, innit? Okay? Defensive, I have to be bro. Impartial. You, it's literally, defensive. you literally looked at him and said, Look, bro, why aren't you sort your life out? Why aren't you eating organic? <laughs> uh, no, but you agree with the sentiment, right? I agree with it. Not, but, not, but he'll I'm still not talking buy about the practicalities. Or, I'm not talking about, mm. you know, I completely understand the hurdles and the mm. obstacles to it. But in terms of the, the sort of the spiritual value or at least the moral value, mm. you, you're on that page, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I haven't had the same reaction when I've seen. I've read up on it. I've read up on what you guys have sure. read up on. I've seen 
the videos that you guys oh, have seen up on, but I haven't had the same reaction. Mm. Because I, I think the reason is, you got people like him who preach, but you don't really see any change. I, oh my God. I've, he eats oh, eggs. So there's a lot you, of change. For you, it's important to see like, yeah. an actual transformation in someone. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, he yeah. just wants me to. So if I was the... more around you, yeah. and I was chilling with you, and I saw you eat, and I'm like, He's wow. He's not the Jedi Master though, I am. No, but it's not been long enough for me yet. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, so, 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 so the thing about you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be preaching to me until you've completed the steps. He, he's only no, hold on. But did I tell? Did I tell you? Did I, did, 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 I, did I tell you? Gone by organic chickens. I just preached the part that I was doing. The eggs. That was the, the, issue, the, the issue I've got with him. Is, and hold on. No, no, no. Hold the issue on. I've got with this guy is he preaches a lot. But a lot of times he's a hypocrite. He was talking about the environment the other day, saying, oh, we need to protect the environment. Don't buy plastic bags for six Hold months. On. Wait I've a second. pictures of you using plastic bags. I had to And you drive a VW <laughs> diesel. Yeah. Yeah? The people who lied about their emissions. <laughs> so this is why I don't believe him. So I need someone more reliable to follow them in their steps. <coughs> That's funny. You know, I'm, I'm, there's a... There's, it's, the process is going on inside me, right? I don't know I'm what going this is. Away what from is this? <laughs> Does this help your argument do this? It makes Alice it is happening like... inside me. Okay, you you tell me, you tell us, you're telling us that you can't buy organic <laughs> organic eggs because it's expensive, yeah? But I've seen you buy caged eggs and then go to the expensive it gives him, aisle. It gives him credibility. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. That, that is just too rude, man. That's too deep. Sorry, what were you saying? Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, so he'll buy he'll buy the organic he'll buy the caged chickens, right? He'll buy the caged chickens and then he'll go to the expensive aisle and he'll buy onion chutney and crackers and cheese. And I'll ask him, Where did you learn how to eat that? He's like, White people. Wait, what's what's the, what's the point? I don't know what the point is. But it's very expensive stuff. <laughs> That was the point. That was the point. Hold on. My point is that, they, you know, he'll go and buy very expensive stuff, but he, he doesn't have 25p extra to buy <laughs> eggs that have been laid by oh, happy okay, chickens. Okay, yeah, yeah. I get it. I would say, do you know, for me, um, I eat a lot of eggs. Like okay, every day, I'll let, eat let me eggs. go back That's to him. Change that. Let, me, let, me, let me go back to him. <coughs> if there was a cheaper option, I'd always go with the cheaper option. Even it comes to cheese and crackers, mate. <laughs> so he isn't after the eggs. You're just stingy. Yeah, yeah. bro. I've got, I looked for the Tesco so, brand once. So you know what? Cheese and crackers or onions and crackers aren't a necessity, are they? For me, you, they are. No, they're not. You just enjoy it. Yeah, we enjoy it. Yeah. What's your problem? But you don't enjoy cheese. No, so why can't you, instead of have like happy chickens? Oh, well, that happy gives me eggs. comfort and that's what makes me happy. Uh, but what about the chickens? Oh, well, you're dealing with that. It's heartless, bruv. <laughs> Sorry, Jubert, go on. No, no, I wasn't going to say anything. I was just watching you guys. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, inshallah, as I said, as more people around me mm. start slowly eating organic, I will, inshallah, one day follow that step. But as of now, I'm still far away. I've, I've sure. had the conversation. But I see the benefits and mm. I agree with what you guys are saying. I'm not going to even deny it. Yeah. But he's a really bad example. <laughs> That's the only reason. Well, I... I <laughs> I've spoken to my to my. I had the conversation with my mom. Oh, today. what did she say? Um, she's like, okay, get one, and then we'll we'll try it out. But when I told yeah. her, but you know what? It's okay because we have two chickens. I figured out we have two chickens per week. Okay, that's probably a bit too too much. Yeah, too 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 too, too much. Um, yeah, you can make one. You can stretch one by. So on the website of the guys that I bought the um, chicken from. Yeah. So they know that it's expensive, and you know, they acknowledge it, and so they say that. When you make the curries, like don't just make a straight chicken curry. Make it with potatoes and yeah, chickpeas yeah, yeah. and bulk it up yeah, yeah, so that yeah. you can really stretch it out, yeah. basically. So um, you could probably do that with one chicken a week instead. Yeah, and even two chickens, it'd be fine. Yeah. Because it's only, so that will, a month, it will be £136. Yeah, and think about how much we eat out, you know? Yeah. Like, how expensive is chicken? Is what are you talking about? Are you talking about organic chicken? Yeah, one, yeah, one organic, organic one is like 17 quid. 17 quid. Wow. Yeah, it's expensive. It's not cheap. How much is wow. that? But that you know what? So someone said this the other day, and I was like, "Oh, that's so true." An organic chicken isn't expensive. It's that a normal chicken is it's cheap. really yeah. cheap. That's the, marshmallow that's the chicken. way that you should look at it. But the like, thing is, the marshmallow it's a living creature, bro. The, Do you know what I'm saying? Like you literally bought a living creature for like three quid. What the heck? But it's not actually, the marshmallow. The, no, no, no. The marshmallow <laughs> chickens aren't two Goldfish pounds. Goldfish are more expensive. That is true. You that is actually true. But the marshmallow chickens aren't two pounds. They're like five pounds or something now. Are they more expensive? And no, people, no, 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 no,
Oh, so that's oh two my quidditch. god! Yeah, that's literally yeah, two yeah, quidditch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's ju- that, just that. I think the value of you know, I, I think that in itself shows so, so how. So the question now, <clears throat> re- reality is now. So you guys are making these steps. So every place you go and eat, do you inquire about where the chickens farm from? Because no, not so yet. like for example. You know, in our freezers, we still got the other chicken. Mm. I'm still eating that. Yeah, but you can't waste food. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying when you go now, you have a choice. Um, you're right. And because, for example, me yeah. and you went out to that restaurant in London. We ate. You didn't so inquire I think, about I think that. This is the, I think this yeah. is where you're going wrong, like on a serious note. Mm. Um, I think uh, when, you're, when you're doing something, when you're making changes, you can't make every change. Or you can't make a change in one, like... Booyakasha, I'm going to just wake up and that's it. It's yeah, done it's because that's not sustainable. As Joubert said, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, but, but then again, you're so, attacking me to make these changes as well. So it's, okay, it's going to okay, take fine, me I'm, a while. You know, let, forget that I attacked I'm not, you. Okay? No, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to let go. Just let it go. Okay? No, 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 Musa. no. no, no. Musa ain't going to work here, mate. You said anyway, I can make these changes. But, I'm a savage. <laughs> now you're saying, no, you have to let it go. Your brother, if you so, could, so, you would so, run into so, the jungle, get a chicken and like, you know, not know what to do with it, but you go and get the chicken. Ah, I got the chicken. Ah, you're gonna kill this chicken, and you'd be like, "I'm gonna kill this chicken." And then when you when you're about to kill it, you're like, "Oh no, what am I supposed to do?" Question you're is, can that. you kill a chicken? We would cut a chicken. I think I could. Alive. Oh, I don't That's know. what I'm talking about. Not not yeah. a dead one, dude. Because things would be flapping around <laughs> and trying to. You know what? My uncle, yeah. So mm. I, my uncle, who used to work in the restaurant, he's like more our generation. He's only a few years older than us. And he was telling me that when he was proper young and first working in the restaurant business, so they had to go and get the chickens from the farm and kill them themselves. And he literally, on say like a Thursday evening, or sorry, Thursday afternoon, he'd just be sat there like cutting these chickens, cutting these chickens, cutting these. And he goes that like, he got proper traumatized. <laughs> from cutting all the oh my God. Because <laughs> he goes that it's not like as like easy as you think where you just, you know, they're just yeah, waiting yeah. for you to do it. They're like proper fighting for their life. <laughs> uh, so yeah that's that's horrible I don't, yeah actually now that I think about what he said and he's like a tough guy so I don't know if I could do it interesting about organic eating right mm. if we lived in Bangladesh we would all be in organic because we're all yes. from the village probably yeah, not yeah, now yeah. probably not now uh, well no he is kind of right about the village so you know the villages oh, okay. where they don't really buy stuff from the yeah, market yeah, yeah. it's all, yeah. all grown it is like they literally the chickens running around the chickens you know, the horrible. cows everything running around I like around. it I had it recently it was actually alright really? you know what it is <laughs> so I got confused <laughs> no, I, I got confused there's two types of chicken yeah? yeah so there is the village chicken which yeah, yeah. is the nice meat and there is also the village chicken, which is the other meat. It's a different breed of chicken. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So the, I think the la, the red chicken that they talk about is the plump one, but it's still the yeah, Bangladeshi yeah, chicken. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, um, we have to really, you know, this is so uh, so 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 realistically, right? Organ- we grew up. Oh, I was I was born in Bangladesh, so we I grew up eating organic food. My family grew up eating organic yes. food. Yeah. It's just when we came here, it disappeared because we're not in an environment. Fat. We not we want in an environment for uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know the environment um, sustained for organic food. Yeah, I don't think no one knew what organic was back then. Well, I think earlier, like I remember my parents and um, my dad saying, and I'm sure your your parents as well that they they needed to go and buy chickens and slaughter it themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you had this massive, you know, someone commerce- saw an opening, like someone saw a gap in the market, right? Yeah, yeah. And they just went boom. And, uh, you know, huge uh, factory farming of chickens. And that is how it is, isn't it? Like, when you look at huge farms, like, here, it's okay. In England, well, it's not okay, but... With you chickens, see and it's bad. Yeah, with chickens, with chickens it's bad. is really bad. And yeah. a lot of the times, you don't see it. But when you see cattle farms in, for example, America and stuff like that, they don't have a single blade of grass. They are being fed corn, and they, they, they're just trampling over... And that's really bad for their digestive system so they fart a lot did you, did you hear causing some causing methane and then yeah. uh, global warming etc etc if that's even true oh there was something uh, something new they were going to do to a cow um, let, let me look onto my phone and I will come back to you on this one what are they doing to a cow? Um, sticking a second stomach into a cow <laughs> Um, to create something more meat or something okay. produce more milk cows by, have like uh, no, 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 no 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 they were going to physically put something inside it uh, um, what do you call it again? They go, they're going to alter its um, uh, internal systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to, for it to that's, produce more. That sounds. That just sounds. The rips a rip yeah, open, yeah, yeah. And, and it was a reason for. <clears throat> I think it's because there was a reason why they were doing it. If you can yield more meat from one cow, mm. it means less carbon uh, methane produced. But then again, well, it you means know, more money for them as well. Yeah, and more I don't money. think they're worried about the methane. Yeah. 
you know, it's a, it's a balance. I think, I think, I think what it is, it's just, we're just eating too much. And we're so detached from the reality of these industries that we are, we have been, we are, we are living there, bruv, wherever I went right now. Like we're really complacent. We are, yeah, and we, we our heads are in the clouds. Mm. I remember, a, you know, when this horse meat thing happened with mm. Tesco and stuff yeah. like that, and everyone went on a mad one. And it's crazy because horse meat is healthier than normal <laughs> beef, right? Yeah. And they went on a mad one because a horse is a beautiful creature. What, a cow isn't a beautiful creature and a chicken isn't a beautiful creature? Anyway, forget that. I saw a program where they took a few people and they showed them the cat, uh, uh, you know, how things are produced and stuff like that. They went crazy. Mm. They didn't have a clue. And I'm sure if I was to ask one of the youngsters, I mean, I, I like to think my nieces and nephews, they're probably clued on. They know uh, what, what's happening. But if I go to uh, ask somebody who is, you know, a keyboard basher or something like that, a child who's like, that is what it is, right? A lot of us, we've allowed our children to become keyboard bashers. I'm, I'm ranting here a little bit, but, you know, let me be. Um, they wouldn't know where where okay. chicken comes from. So I found this. Oh. Uh, I found I found it. Now. Bloody hell! It's okay. called it's called portholes. So watch this. So what they do is basically. Oh my So God. the cow can't eat enough, so they rip a hole into it and they put more food to maximize food. So okay. the cow can't eat, and it's um, it happens in Europe. They rip it. Do you want to see the picture? It is absolutely disgusting. Yeah. Um, so, and it's it's acceptable just to maximize production. That's all. It oh is. wow. Mm. Um, so I think I read this about three, four years ago, and I'm just shocked. And then I was watching, reading more on it, and it was just hold on. <clears throat> Cows get a Tinder-style breeding app. I'm sorry, I don't know why that's the only thing I took away from that, but that's <laughs> that's just a, that's an ad for another link. Um, and this is acceptable, by the way. This is acceptable uh, in Europe. Oh, wow! That looks incredibly that's inhumane that is yeah you know, this is this is why well, I mean, you the know, west you, got such double but, but the thing is that's, that's the thing isn't it like when you see extreme <laughs> stuff like that then you wake up <laughs> but what about you know cows are you know their udders are so big they can't even move what about that? That's, that just sounds funny to No, me. it doesn't. Exactly, right? <laughs> you see, a, that okay, looks gross. They, you know, okay, when I, the first time, it, it's really sad because having grown up in England, mm. the first time I actually saw an animal, meaning a, a, a farm animal. <laughs> what were you doing? That was brutal, that one. See, this is this is why I go in for the defensive at the beginning, isn't it? No, I make you up not for the defensive. Stuff. You were the aggressor at the beginning, I did. Uh, this is literally the only thing. Uh, offensive aggression, isn't it? I mean, the best defensive defense. aggression. That's very offensive. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you know, it's it's a bit like you know when you um, you know you know the certain dogs like you get these abused dogs. They're like <laughs> when even if you go to the dog, it's like. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're like, dude, I'm just walking past. You see, you see, this, this is the mentality. This is the mental. This is this is what I had to live with. This is why I had to live with. I get hence what you're why, saying. I, I get why. it. I understand, dude. I've seen it. <coughs> I've seen it, man. <coughs> anyway, <clears throat> it's okay. Back to what I was saying. It's okay. The first time I saw an animal, uh, a farm animal, <laughs> was when I went to Bangladesh, and this was I was six years old then. I was fat. <laughs> I was fascinated by it. And you know what? Is that what the, you udders, the, the udders, I could hardly see the udders, right? And then when you see the udders of the cow, uh, the, um, the, the milking cows that we have in this country, they just look mutated. They are mutant. We are drinking milk. That's another thing, actually, get organic milk. I show, showed you the organic milk at Tesco's. I don't know. Uh, yeah. What is organic milk? What's the difference between uh, oh, organic? You keep asking hard oh, questions, bro. Yes. But you're telling me because I need to know. I don't know. Uh, okay, you know. So, okay, okay, go on. So basically, with an organic animal, mm. something that's been reared in an organic way, mm. 
means that it's not being given any feed with any of those mm. um, anti what's yeah, it yeah. antibiotics, growth hormones, anything so like that. So when you say he's just natural, just natural. It's milk. natural. It's basically somewhat and natural. It's, and it's but, but it's still been filtered though because it's yeah, 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 yeah. It's and they've been chemical yeah. in there to yeah. get rid of it. Yeah. So is what, what's it, that? Sorry. No, what's well, that? oh, no, you're talking about the milk. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, the milk's been pasteurized. Yeah, yeah. Is there no chemicals involved in that? Is it? No, it's just heating and cooling. And it's taken out a lot of the you know the natural enzymes and all that stuff. Now the now some people say that you should actually drink raw milk, not not that's, like... That's why. But raw milk can cause horrendous... It's disgusting. Um, you know, uh, GI uh-huh. upset. No, it's very nice as well. Because if you, you like it, cream. I don't like it. You've got the cream. Nice thing. But the man. thing is, you know what? In Bangladesh, I've had a lot of raw, me- uh, raw milk. And no, no, I can't handle it. And in Bangladesh, they, they, they just get it from the thing. It's warm, isn't it? It's still yeah. warm when they get yeah. it. Yeah. But the thing is, they do heat it up. So maybe that is doing something to, 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 to the things. Um... But, you know, with milk, actually, I'm not quite sure how much, but the regulations, there's regulations out there of how much pus you can have in milk. Hmm. And in, in America, it's higher than in Britain, I, I'm, in, in Europe. I'm not quite sure how much it is, but the thought of having pus in milk hmm. is disgusting. So we just start off organic by going down the organic milk route. Yeah, yeah, I've, uh, yeah so I'm getting organic. So at the moment... Does it taste any different? No, no, no. It's the same. Um, getting organic milk, organic eggs, and in, hopefully, inshallah, uh, transitioning to organic um, chicken chickens. And I think I'm uh, with with lamb though, or or sheep. So don't eat lamb. Lamb is you know shouldn't be. That's another thing that we shouldn't be eating. Uh, go for the sheep, the older older mutton, things. Mutton. mutton, yeah. The tough one. The tough one, but which you can buy a slow cooker or something like that. Um. Uh, there, there's this thing that you can't well I don't know if it's just a fallacy or what um, that you can't intensively farm sheep yeah I think I think sheep um, especially if they're like UK or Ireland yeah, yeah. farmed then it's not you don't have to worry necessarily in terms of them being cooped up yeah, but yeah. they can still be fed antibiotics and okay, yeah, growth yeah. hormone and stuff yeah, like yeah. that so that's more not to do with how humanely it's been raised yeah, yeah. or reared it's more with what what yeah, s- yeah. substances are in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But one thing I was going to ask you guys, um, I know we're kind of coming to the near the end of this. Um, so let me just tell you my takeaways from both of your discussions. Hmm. My takeaway from both of your discussions is that ultimately um, the the respecting the animal and the way that it's treated is really important. Hmm. Um, eating something that's going to be good for you is important. But at the same time, being realistic and then implementing it slowly and getting everyone around you to understand what the big deal is about mm. and also finding finding the cost effective sort of balance for yourself because mm. you can't expect everyone to just go out and buy a 17 pound chicken if that's and like that, a as i said as, as it becomes more uh, as people become more aware your price will come down sure it's yeah. just a matter of time it's still quite new i, I personally mm. think it might not come down do you reckon? I yeah, think more. I, I have a feeling I, I, that I, I it won't think come down because will, it's so expensive. It's to, niche. Because Jubair was niche telling me the farms that he buys it from, they're struggling. Yeah, they don't make a lot of money. They don't make a lot of money. Maybe yeah. because they don't have consumers you know, buying Yeah, that's just one Enough consumers, yeah. <clears throat> but, you know, anyway, again, I think buying a chicken for two pounds in itself is... No, one's it, did, no one seems didn't. a bit inhumane, isn't it? Like, you know, two pounds... Okay, so this is yeah, the thing anyway. I was going to ask you guys because summer is coming mm. and... If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, and I believe the seasons are getting perfect for it, is would you guys be up for going on a hunting trip? Oh, I've been dying to go. On so imagine hunting. that's an animal that's lived completely I want to in deer. the wild. Yeah, you want to, yeah? Uh, yeah, I want to wrestle it first. We have to shoot it, bro. I think we can shoot afterwards. I'll wrestle it first. You're not going to wrestle it. Imagine you we'll, running we won't after catch it with your I'm little fat, legs, mate. If I jump on that, I ain't moving. Yeah, no, but with we, your little legs. You're, we, not, you're not even going to be able to jump on it. You'd be like, hee, oh, dear, 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 We're not going to catch me. anything because it will, you'll scare it off. How are you going to do that? It, it's going to see me. So he's not a threat. <laughs> <laughs> No, you look like a threat. Doesn't matter what what yeah. species is looking at you. I think they'll be like, the, no, what, what, this guy's do. dangerous. What, what my to top? Yeah. What? What my top? <laughs> I look like Mr. Potato. Yeah. No, no, no. Does Mr. Potato look like a threat? What we need to do is put you in a deer costume. But then we might <laughs> accidentally oh, shoot you. Sharp, you sharp? Yeah, you sharp. <laughs> to yeah. we might accidentally shoot. <laughs> uh, look, yeah, get, that, there's one there. Look how stupid oh. that one looks. Kill that one. <laughs> Pheasants as well, I need some pheasants. 
Uh, yeah, let's let's. Shall there's we try loads, and... man. There are so many around the rural. Let's areas. see if we can hook up a hunting trip. Yeah. 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 So there's right. a few in Scotland. I think. No, Gordon no. There's Ramsey. actually some in Berkshire, bro. Is there? Yeah. Like no, Clown no. ones. So there's one in um, West London, mm. and it's run by Arabs. Yeah, so they, I think they'll be more conscious of the whole halal, like saying Bismillah Allah, but when you shoot the animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then there's, sorry? No, it's a... Uh, is it with an egg gun or what? Rifle? No, no, it's proper like rifle. Uh, real, real rifle. Wow. Proper rifle, yeah. yeah. And then there's some non-Muslim ones um, that are based in Berkshire as well. Yeah. Um, and bruv, it's literally like round the corner Round the corner, yeah. yeah. And we have a lot of deers around. There's here. a lot, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's look into it. And that, if you think about it, that animal is literally lived its own life. In the wild. In the yeah. wild, eating natural... And then the the last bit of its life is just bang, yeah. you know. So that would be, be cool. To do that would be, be so cool. cool. I've been meaning to do that. I've I've been hooked on that program. What's it? Um, what is it called? See that meet one on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, meet one on Netflix, and just goes hunting. And I, it's just one hour, and he's just stalking a deer, glassing a deer, and the, the and it's just so good. Um, but I have a feeling that deer isn't going to be palatable for me. I think it's been nice, bro. I hope it's nice, but yeah. it's going to be so gamey, and I have trouble with gamey stuff. I've never had a gamey, and this is so I haven't had yeah. rabbits or anything, so I don't. That's never, because we've no, been no, eating I don't marshmallow think, no, chickens. No, I don't think it would be like gamey like a rabbit. It would be, it would be lean. Yeah, but it will still have steaks and proper meat. Like it would be like the like thighs. Yeah, no, stuff. meaning the taste, mm. gamey taste. You know that gamey taste that like you know pigeon when you have pigeon. Oh, the, like the smell of it. The smell and it. Oh, okay, okay yeah. fair enough. Anyway, yeah, I, I'll be, I'll be uh, proper. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Why not? We just have to remember not to shoot Bablu. <laughs> I think we should be more worried about him not shooting you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. When you kick, yeah. keep Abdin on restraints, we can't let him loose in yeah. the wild. Oh, that's true, actually. You might lose me. Might you, not come you, back. Know, you, you might see my patri- Have you seen a leopard when they take their uh, uh, prey up, up a tree? Up tree up <laughs> He's like this. <laughs> but taken by a deer. <laughs> uh, anyways, bros, it's um, Maghrib time now. So shall we pray and then catch up in a second? Yes. Yeah. 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 All right, cool.